All right, in this video, I'm going to model how to use the Edsby Capture app to be able to scan QR codes. So on the screen, I have my demo account. I have a list of my homeroom plus mathematics classes. The first decision I need to make is where do I want to have this evidence go? So each one of these classes has its own unique QR code. So if I open up my math class, there are two places I can go to get my QR codes. The first one is the student zoom here. If I click that out, I can click on QR codes and it gives me a list of QR codes for this math class. So again, every one of my math classes would have a separate QR code in a traditional elementary setting. A teacher would have a separate QR code for their homeroom, for their science, for their math, for their language, for all classes. So the decision has to be made. Do you want to print out all of those codes and use them? Or do you just want to start small, maybe with one subject area? Or do you want to just put evidence into your homeroom to start with? So those are some quick conversation starters to get you going. The other place where I could have received the QR codes is up on the evidence tab. If I click that, I can go to print QR codes for students and that will take me exactly where I already was. It gives me the same list of QR codes. From this point, so again, I have a a list of fictitious, fictional student names here. So if I want to scan Scarlett Bates's QR code, so whether I'm the teacher or Scarlett herself, I can take my iPad, go to my Edsby Capture app, and it's simply a QR scanner. So I can scan it off of a printed piece of paper or right off of the screen. And then from here, I can take a picture, use the photo, and that picture is now in Scarlett's evidence. So I can test that out, going back to my demo site up on the screen. If I get rid of those, I can refresh my page. And there is the picture that I just took. So in a classroom setting, it could be as simple as having the Edsby Capture app on your mobile device, scan the code, take the picture, and it immediately uploads into that student's learning evidence section. At this point, Edsby's Capture app right now only works for pictures. It does not at this point work for video, but we have been told that it will be updated. So at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later, you will be able to quickly scan a code and take pictures and video but for now, it does work for pictures only. Thank you.